What's up, my grub lovers? Who ready to get their grub on? You know that I am. It's your boy, Mr. Grub, back again with another video for you guys. And uh, today I have something interesting to discuss with you guys. I have been getting uh, some feedback in regards to, uh, you know, my, my vlog videos, kind of letting you guys know what I do, how I do it. Um, and I got, a, I actually got a question. It was kind of funny. Um, someone asked me, how do you determine what foods are safe to eat uh, when you're uh, when you're going to work? And I mean, everybody eats differently, right? So I took that and said, you know what? I'm going to answer that question. I'm going to answer multiple questions within that one. So what I would say is there are different occasions. Uh, when you're when you probably should eat certain foods okay so I'm gonna give you guys the five common foods that people enjoy and let you know when is the best and the worst time to actually eat those foods okay so uh, let's get started okay so the first food which is I guess you can say it's a food because it does originate from one uh, but we'll put this in the category this time. The first one I would say, uh, which is most common, is, is coffee, okay? Um, everybody knows coffee beans, you know, is what makes coffee. So we'll consider that an exception, but we'll definitely include it, okay? Coffee is the most common uh, thing consumed uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? And people drink coffee when, you know, they just get up to read their paper, walk their dog, uh, go to work, etc., etc. Right? Uh, but everybody knows that coffee has its side effects. Okay. <laughs> uh, for some, it's the high retention of energy. Uh, you know, for for others, depending on the time of the day, it can cause you to be irritable, uh, not be able to sleep like you like to. Uh, and for most other people, um, it causes a certain thing to happen within your stomach. Okay. <laughs> so. I understand starting your day uh, off right with a cup of joe is the way to go. I just made that up, by the way. <laughs> but what I would advise, uh, you know, as far as the coffee goes, I wouldn't drink coffee uh, too many times a day while at work. And I wouldn't drink coffee too late in the day. Okay. So the best time to drink coffee is early in the morning, the first thing in the morning. That is the best time to drink coffee, okay? Not when you're tired and exhausted, but getting your day started is the best time to drink coffee if that's what you uh, choose to do, okay? The worst time to drink coffee, of course, is right before you go to bed. I know some people uh, prefer something hot before they go to bed. It soothes them. It makes it more comfortable for them. If you're going to go that route, I would say drink tea. Tea definitely uh, is healthier, it's lighter, and it definitely makes you feel much better, okay? That's the first one. Okay, the second food I would say, which is, uh, you know, the most common is pizza. Okay. Now, from what I've noticed is uh, if you have pizza for dinner and you wake up in the morning, people eat pizza cold. Okay. I, I'm guilty. I've done that before. Right. Uh, they'll eat pizza for lunch. You know, even guys in school, they sell pizza for lunch. And, and even when you have meetings and gatherings, sometimes it's easier to order in bulk to feed everybody so people order pizza right so pizza is definitely a common food that you see people eat on a day-to-day -day basis uh, but pizza has its side effects as well eating pizza with certain drinks like uh, acidic drinks soda orange juice things like the grape juice grapefruit juice uh, can lead to acid reflux and heartburn okay and that's the worst feeling to have especially when you're asleep and you're waking up out of your sleep by acid reflux okay so and also you have that side effect of the added cheese depending on your your toppings you could have you know onions and peppers could cause you to have bad breath throughout the day or extra cheese could cause you to be back and forth to the bathroom all day okay so there's a lot of added effects with that uh, side effects with that as well so I would say the best time to to eat pizza is is at dinner when you're home and you have the time to take your time, not rush, really enjoy it, and also have that freedom to uh, adjust whatever you need to do uh, to accommodate that meal. So the best time would be at dinner. Uh, the worst time to 
eat pizza is going into or in the middle of a meeting, okay? And the reason I say that is because uh, it's a heavy food, so it can cause exhaustion early, and it can definitely mess with your stomach, and those are two things you don't need in a meeting, okay? Uh, so that covers that. Third food that I would actually say is most common uh, would be a hamburger, okay? Now we can get into detail and say, uh, you know, cheeseburger, this and that, bacon. We're going to say hamburger, you know, for a broad sense, okay? And I would say that a hamburger is definitely common, but it has its side effects. And again, that leads back to, you know, if you have a cheeseburger, you have the cheese, could mess with you. Beef itself is pretty heavy. So you have to be careful when you eat it because it can, it can sit on you. We'd all had McDonald's burgers before, uh, and those burgers will literally sit on you depending on when you eat them, okay? And uh, you have to be careful. The type of burger, you know, again, the, the, the toppings could cause you to have bad breath all day, uh, make you feel sluggish because it's so heavy. Uh, so these are things that you have to definitely look at uh, when getting the burger, okay? I would say as far as best to worst time, the best time to actually enjoy a burger, if you ask me, is on the weekends when, you, when you're off of work or on the weekends, okay? Um, because it allows you to uh, take that time to relax, enjoy, or be active. You know, and it gives you the time to try to work that off because it takes a lot to work off a burger, okay? Uh, meat, the meat itself is definitely, uh, is definitely a heavy food. So the best time is when you don't have anything planned and, and or on the weekend. The worst time, uh, I would say, to eat a burger is similar to the pizza. In meetings or before or during meetings, uh, because of uh, the heavy capacity of the food, it could make you very sluggish and very exhausted when you definitely don't need to be, okay? Uh, and that's that one. Fourth food I would have to say that's common uh, would be ice cream. You definitely have to be careful with ice cream because it's a dairy product and most people understand that dairy runs straight through you, okay? So you have to be careful when you eat ice cream how much time you actually have because of course it's gonna melt fast as well. So there's a lot of things in place uh, that have to be in place for you to have uh, the best time or the worst time eating ice cream. I would say the best time to eat ice cream is uh, when you're off of work, uh, but after a meal. I would never suggest you supplementing a meal uh, for ice cream, okay? Um, if you eat first and you have that as a dessert, that's fine, but I would never substitute a meal for ice cream uh, because it would, uh, it would make your stomach unsettled and there's no getting away from that, okay? Um, the worst time to eat ice cream is first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, the last thing you want to do is indulge in, you know, uh, a heavy, a heavy dairy product like ice cream. So I would advise that first thing in the morning, okay? Um, just because it would lead you to a long day of a lot of bathroom visits and misery, okay? Last but not least, the fifth thing and what I would say uh, is, a, is another common thing. I'm not going to say the most important, but the fifth thing uh, that I would actually say you have to definitely uh, be careful about is dessert. And I didn't specify as far as cake, pudding, and stuff like that. I'm saying dessert. And the reason why I say dessert is because desserts are high in sugar. They're high in fat. So you have... To be very careful when you indulge in desserts. A lot of people, uh, for breakfast on the go, they may have danishes, they may have, uh, you know, things like that, blueberry muffins, so, so to speak. Uh, you know, for lunch, someone may have some chocolate cake or something like that. For dinner, they may have, you know, apple pie, stuff like that. Uh, but definitely be cautious of your desserts because uh, too much sugar turns to fat, and it, it's going to make you sluggish, and then you're going to have a crash moment. And at that moment, uh, everything seems to be slower. Uh, your mental capacity to retain information starts to drag back a little bit. Okay, and I'm speaking from experience. So I'm not telling you these things just to tell you I've been there through each and one of these things. You have to be careful. The best time to eat dessert is just like ice cream. The best time to eat dessert is after a meal. Okay, uh, you need the meal to offset. You need the protein. Uh, you need the carbohydrates, those things to offset all of that sugar, okay? The worst time to eat dessert is first thing in the morning. 
uh, because you don't want to lead off with a sugar rush because you'll definitely crash and there's no coming back from that okay um, those are the five foods most common foods um, that people eat on a day-to-day -day basis uh, their best and worst times okay so if you guys got any other questions in regards to that or anything else comment below let me know um, and I'll put a video up with that as well just like this one um, and let you guys know the facts man let you guys know the truth because that's what I do okay until next time you guys it's your boy Mr. Grubb I'm out.